sommelier Paolo Basso at work in a wine cellar in Ticino. The two men sitting at the table are not here to enjoy themselves. They're actually taking notes on everything he says and does. Voilà, messieurs, demain, que vous avez commandé, Mercurel, 1971, de chez Calvé. A sommelier must present the wine in the best possible way. He has a big responsibility towards this natural product and of human expertise and also towards the consumer. During the taste test, the timer is running. The ceremony shouldn't last too long but it shouldn't feel rushed either. In una prova di un concorso le situazioni possono presentare delle insidie. In a wine tasting competition there are tricky moments sometimes which the sommelier must face swiftly and elegantly. The client shouldn't notice anything. Senza quasi farsi notare dal cliente che questa difficoltà possa possa esistere. Paolo Basso also spends many hours studying books about wine and wine tasting. You have to learn about geography, about the legislation of wine-producing countries, the soil, the climate, the names of the wine producers. And of course, you must learn a lot of theory about tasting. La degustazione è qualcosa di fisico, si fa con l'occhio, il naso e la bocca, però bisogna avere delle basi molto importanti e teoriche. A top sommelier's knowledge goes beyond the most famous wine-producing countries, like Italy and France. Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, Lebanon, Israel, Greece and South Africa. You really have to know every wine-producing country in the world, and the emerging ones as well, like China, Vietnam or Japan. Basso won the title of Best Sommelier in Europe during the last international competition in Strasbourg. It was very emotional. Years of work culminated right at that moment, when they called me the best European sommelier. But there's only so much you can learn from books. If you're not physically fit, you can forget about competing. Physical activity is very important for a sommelier to stimulate one's appetite. When you've got an appetite, your nose and taste buds are more sensitive and they perform better. But today it's not a good day for biking, so I'm going to do a different kind of training, spirit tasting. I was quite weak in spirit tasting, so now, before a competition, I do two sessions every day, with 12 different kinds of spirits each time. The only goal Paolo Basso hasn't achieved yet is the world title, but he's working on it. His style is perfect. He is an example to follow for our young sommeliers. Wine is a competition for us, but it's also a pleasure. Clearly, we have to separate wine tasting from enjoying a nice bottle. But it's really great when you do your work with pleasure.